Today, we're talking about building a one-page AI tool website that can generate thousands in passive income. And I can hear what you're thinking. You think you need years of coding experience and a massive budget to create a profitable website, right? But what if I told you that that's completely wrong? Because most people do believe that building a successful online business requires technical expertise, huge upfront investments, and months of development. And they think that you need to be a programmer or hire expensive developers to create something that actually makes money. But here's what's crazy nowadays, because I'm gonna show you how to build a website that gets 1.8 million visitors per month and generates over $18,000 in completely passive income, and that you can do it in a single day with zero coding knowledge. Because I found a proven system that lets AI do all the technical work while you focus on the money-making part. All right, so take a look at this screenshot. This is the actual analytics from invoicegenerator.com, and it's showing us 1.8 million monthly visits. So with a $10 RPM from Google AdSense, they're pulling in about $18,000 every single month on autopilot. There are no products to ship, no customer service calls. It's just pure advertising revenue. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the exact step-by-step -step process to clone this success. We'll build our own one-page AI tool website. We're gonna go ahead and connect Google AdSense for that passive income, and we're gonna add Stripe for premium features and set up everything that you need to start generating revenue. And to get all of that done, the AI tool that we're going to use today is Replit. With my code MikeyWebsite, M-I-K-E-Y website, you will get a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added the link in the description down below. Please do be sure to go ahead and check that out and click on that link after this video, after we watch everything. Because what we're gonna do and start with is the core structure, the actual interface that users will interact with. And it needs to be clean, modern looking, and fully functional right out of the gate with all of the essentials an invoice tool should have. And to set all of that up, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this prompt into Replit. Create a professional invoice generator web app with a clean, modern interface. Users should be able to input company slash business info, client customer details, line items with descriptions, quantities, and prices. Automatically calculate subtotals, taxes, grand totals, and include invoice numbering, payment terms, and due dates. Important disclaimer here before we continue on, because building websites and making money online is not easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. So I just wanna let you know that when I show you how to build a website, for example, I'm demonstrating the technical process and the potential. I am not guaranteeing your results. Don't mix those two or three together because these AI tools are legit and the techniques do work, but your success, as with all things in life, depends on our execution, our timing, and honestly, a good chunk of luck. Most websites don't make money immediately and many don't make money at all. Trust me, I know. I'm not promising that you're gonna get rich quick or that you quit your job. This is not financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm just showing you what's possible with these tools and what you do with that knowledge, that's entirely up to you and me. Alrighty then, with those expectations set, let's continue to build out this website. Now this builds out the main skeleton of the app. And we have here, as you can see, a clean layout with space for your company logo, editable fields for business and client information, and a dynamic table where you can enter line items like name, description, quantity, and rate. As you do type, the app also handles the math automatically for us, updating the subtotal, the tax percentage, and grand total all in real time. It also takes care of the finishing touches that make the invoice complete. And I'm talking about unique invoice numbers, customizable payment terms, and an easy date selector for setting the due date. Everything here is structured and it's ready for real use straight away. So now let's go ahead and give our users more control over how their invoices actually look. 
Instead of locking them into just one single layout, we want to offer options, different designs, custom branding, of course, and live previews to help them make it their own. And to accomplish all of that, this is the prompt that I'm going to use to make all that happen. Add multiple professional invoice template designs, let users choose between layouts, and customize invoice branding, including logo upload and color schemes. And with that prompt in place, Replit now introduces a template selector, either a drop down or a horizontal preview carousel. Our users can flip through multiple invoice layout styles, upload their company logo, and tweak the color scheme for headers, labels, and totals. Every change updates instantly in a live preview, as you can see, so they always know exactly what the finished invoice will look like before sending it out. All right, so we all know that nobody, especially you and I, wants to lose our progress halfway through an invoice, especially without a login system in place. So the next obvious step is making sure that everything that we've accomplished so far gets saved automatically behind the scenes. So here's what I'm going to use as a prompt next. Add autosave functionality using local storage. Ensure users returning to the site can resume where they left off without needing to register. And the moment that that prompt runs, the app starts working behind the scenes to keep everything that we've worked on so far saved. And as users type in things like company details or add line items or tweak settings, all of it gets stored automatically using the browser's local storage. So let's say they accidentally close the tab or come back a few days later, their invoice is still there, sitting right there, no login, no save button, no setup required. It is a small upgrade that makes the entire experience way more seamless. All right, so when the invoice is done, it shouldn't take extra work to actually send it out, right? Users expect quick options, download it, share a link or hit send and then just be done with it. No need to leave the app or mess with another platform. So in order to add those delivery features, I'm going to use this prompt. Allow users to export the invoice as a PDF email it directly to clients and generate a temporary online viewing link with print ready formatting. Doing that unlocks three key delivery options. There's now a download PDF button that instantly generates a polished branded file. Send via email opens a simple pop up where users can enter a recipient's address and then fire it off directly from there. And for a quick share option, online view link creates a temporary public URL formatted and ready to print. Each feature is built for convenience so our users can send professional invoices however they prefer without ever having to leave the app. However, typing out the same client info or repeating the same line items every time does get tedious fast. And for businesses that handle recurring work, those little redundancies, those start to add up. It slows things down and then makes the whole process feel more manual than it needs to be. Now, I want to make the workflow smarter and faster. So let's go ahead and drop in this prompt. Create a memory system that saves frequently used client information and item entries. Users should see autofill suggestions when typing. Now that prompt adds a lightweight memory system behind the scenes. So as users start typing in client names or line items, the app suggests matches based on past entries. So there's no need to re-enter the same data each and every time. It is a small change that makes a big difference, especially for repeat customers or commonly billed services. It just speeds everything up without having to sacrifice any control. Now, invoices don't always stick to one currency, especially for freelancers or digital nomads or businesses working across borders. So the next move is to make sure users can switch currencies easily and have the app adjust everything accordingly for us. And to get that going, here's what I'm sending over to Replit to make all of that happen. Add multi-currency support, let users choose the invoice currency and display the correct symbol. 
also includes support for region-based surcharges or fixed fees. And that prompt adds a simple currency selector to the interface, as you can see here, so that once a user picks their preferred option, the app updates all currency symbols, whether it's in US dollars, in euros, pounds, or PHP, or anything else, and applies any relevant surcharges or fixed fees tied to that region. Everything adjusts automatically as it should here, keeping the totals accurate and the invoice compliant with regional expectations. It's pretty cool. And after testing things out, it turns out the app was running into some issues saving data properly, especially when switching tabs or working with more complex inputs. And to fix that, it's an easy fix. All we have to do is use this follow-up prompt. We are getting errors. There also seems to be errors with the saving features. Optimize the saving features of the app. And with that, the AI goes back through the local storage setup we initially set up and just tightens everything up from there. It makes sure data sticks between sessions, even across multiple tabs, and handles complex fields in line items a lot more reliably. If any values are missing or corrupted, the app now knows how to recover gracefully without losing any of our progress. Now, in order to turn this from a free tool into a real product, we need a way to offer premium features and get paid for them. Now, that means setting up a subscription system that locks advanced tools behind a paywall while keeping the core app accessible. Here's the prompt I'm going to use to handle that. Connect Stripe to manage premium features. Users must subscribe to unlock advanced templates, custom invoice colors, high res logo support, and full invoice management features. And to get Stripe running for us, we have to first drop in our public and secret API keys through the app settings panel. And once that's set, all we have to do is approve the webhook so that Stripe can communicate with the app in real time and then just let it handle product creation automatically. After that, we're going to define our pricing, whether it's X dollars per month or Y dollars per year or both. And finally, we have to set up the access rules that separate free users from premium ones, making sure that our advanced features only unlock once a subscription is active. Everything clicks into place from there, and after that's in place, there's one last detail to clean up, which is to make the AI reflect a successful upgrade. And to handle that, I'm just going to drop in this follow-up prompt. After a successful subscription, the Go Premium button should turn into a premium badge. Simple as that. Now, once a user upgrades, the Go Premium button, as you can see, disappears and gets replaced with a clean, verified premium badge. It's a small but is also an important signal that confirms the payment went through for the user, and more importantly, all the premium tools are now fully unlocked. However, some users will happily stick with the free version, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And still, the app can generate revenue by adding a few well-placed ads. As long as they don't get in the way, it's a simple way to earn passively from traffic that isn't converting to premium. So to make that happen, I'm going to use this prompt. Integrate Google AdSense into the sidebar and the footer. Provide a step-by-step -step system to implement, display, and verify banner ads for monetization. Now that adds Google AdSense script blocks directly into the app, one in the sidebar and then another here in the footer. Both are responsive, so they adjust automatically across desktop and mobile. You just need to plug in your Google AdSense client ID and slot ID. And once Google finishes crawling your site and approving it, the ads will begin rendering on their own. So one thing to keep in mind, if you're hosting on Replit or using a custom domain, for example, site verification can sometimes get a little tricky. Luckily, Google offers alternative ways to verify ownership. You can find these options in the site verification section of your AdSense account. All you have to do is just pick the method that works best for your setup and you're good to go. And that, ladies and gents, is the entire build, automated, monetized, and actually useful. 
From client memory to premium tiers to passive ad revenue, this app isn't just functional, it's product ready and all done without writing a single line of code. Okay, so I'm gonna hand it over to you. It's your turn now, take this framework, bend it to your niche and then ship something real. Because while everyone else is still sketching out ideas in their little notebooks, you'll already be collecting payments and traffic. This video is proof. So if you're into builds like this, please do hit that subscribe button on the channel. The next one drops sooner than you think. Thank you for spending your time with me today and I'll catch you at the next one.